It says in the scripture today, very directly, Therefore stay awake, for you, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Now that's pretty scary, because it's talking about the unpredictable things about life. There's so much that's unpredictable. We take for granted that things will stay the same, that things will be stable, that everything is in place, but there's no guarantee even for the next day. And so we take that very seriously. And what comes to mind is the invasion of Hamas into Israel. And all those innocent people, some of them with their families, their children, some were out on a, some kind of a picnic or whatever, they were looking forward to the magnificent daily life of family and friends. And then there was the tremendous evil of that invasion. And so many innocent people lost their lives on that day. Who would have ever have predicted that? Who would have ever have known that? We're talking about the people that were there. They had no expectation that that tremendous, powerful evil would end their life on that day. That's a horrible thing. And so we are so thankful we live in this country, believe me. We are blessed beyond measure. And so it comes down basically to this very basic question. How do you examine your own priorities? How do you examine your own priorities in life? How does anyone examine their priorities? We all have priorities. What's a priority? Well, the dictionary says this. Something given or meriting attention before competing alternatives. That's a really good definition. There are a lot of different other definitions, but I like that one. And the reason why is it applies to our readings here today in the scripture. Competing alternatives. That's kind of interesting. Competing alternatives in terms of your time on a daily basis. Is there competition for your time every day? Is going to church on Sunday a priority? I'm looking around. I think it is for us. <laughs> you know, it's a priority for us to go to church. We must never underestimate that. Tremendous blessing and gift that we can make that a priority, going to church on Sunday. For any Christian, any Christian, is going to church on Sunday a priority? It should be. Every Christian, everybody who claims that they are a Christian should go to church on Sunday. It's a, it's a commandment. Remember, thou keep holy the Lord's Day. It's one of the biggies, too. <laughs> and so let us be thankful on this day. Taking time with God is a preparation for eternity. That's what it comes down to. Preparation. Taking time with God is a preparation for eternity. Now here's the scariest part of the scripture today, even scarier than the first one. These words, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. That must have been pretty disappointing. <laughs> so probably even devastating. God saying, I, I don't know you. I don't know you. And so in, in a way, we can say the readings are all about time. All about time. How precious time is. We take it for granted, and that's okay. But sometimes... We need to think about how valuable our time is. How do you spend your time? How do you spend your time? It's a good question. How much time do you spend in getting ready in the morning? <laughs> yeah, how, how much time does it take for you to get ready? Or to get ready for anything? Ready, set, go. 
are out the door, you know, <laughs> those days going to work, you know, getting out there in the world, you know, getting to get set, get ready, get set, go. And so some people say timing is everything. Timing is everything. And there's this, you're out of time. <laughs> Remember that in school? You're taking an exam. All right, time's up, you're out of time. Well, hopefully you completed the, the examination. Little things like that. Or how about this? Your time has come. Now that could be your time has come to shine. That's, that's very important in sports. Like I like the Olympic Games. I like the summer games, you know. It's like your time has come to shine. You want to get that gold medal. Time. Spend your time wisely. Because the first reading is about wisdom. Spend your time wisely. And then it says this in the scripture. Whoever, whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed. That's wisdom. But you know, it's part of the wisdom of God. Here today, as we worship, we are participating in the wisdom of God because it takes wisdom to know God, to be wise in the ways of God. And then there's this, which is kind of interesting in Genesis. God, God said to Adam, you'll remember this when you read Genesis, God said to Adam, where are you? <laughs> You know, like he didn't know where he was. So what did Adam say he was hiding? He was hiding from God. And so I think there are some people who hide from God for some reason. We may know some. And so really, God says on Sunday, where are you? <laughs> well, here we are, Lord. Here we are. And so a very wise man once said this, worship then, worship then is not a part of the Christian life. It is the Christian life because it's unity, one for all, under the wisdom of our Lord Jesus Christ and the blessings and graces of Almighty God as we not only obey his word, but we become wise in his ways. Amen. Amen.